is the day of reckoning for the vice president and her office's 2025 budget, which has been in limbo after an impasse with the House plenary panel that holds the fate and future of her office's funding. There is no love lost between a defiant vice president and the House plenary, which looks to a default slashing of 1.29 billion pesos from her proposed allocation if she box and walks or if she opts to rattle her saber at the panel tomorrow, as our Melanis Moras reports. There is a joint motion to terminate the uh, interpolations on the proposed budget of the Office of the President. Is there any objection? The Chair hearing none. The uh, interpolations on the proposed budget of the Office of the President is hereby terminated. The House of Representatives has terminated the plenary deliberations for the Office of the President's 2025 budget proposal, amounting to more than 10 billion pesos. Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin personally attended the proceedings, with House Committee on Appropriations Vice Chair Toby Chanko acting as the budget sponsor. During his speech, Chanko assured that even with lower budget allocation for 2025, the OP will continue to serve and work efficiently. More money does not always mean more services or better performance. With the Bagong Pilipinas brand of governance espoused by the President, this chamber is assured that the President is always mindful of the need to fulfill his constitutional mandate with less financial requirement but with the same quality results. Aside from the Office of the President, the 2025 budget proposals of the Department of Education, Civil Service Commission, and other agencies have also been approved by the House Plenary. However, in contrast, the proposed appropriations for the Office of the Vice President remain pending due to the absence of its officials. Kasi kahapon, uh, labing pitong oras, uh, naghintay ang uh, membro ng House of Representatives. Uh, for the office of the vice president to appear uh, before the uh, plenary. Although may pinadala po silang mga uh, abogado, but uh, they are not properly equipped with the uh, authorization. No? So in other words, they are not authorized to represent on behalf of the vice president. So um, ngayon po, naka-schedule ang uh, pagtalakay sa budget ng uh, office of the vice president. So we will wait until the vice uh, president uh, shows up and then, uh, or any of the representative of the office of the vice president. Lawmakers have given the office of the vice president a deadline of until tomorrow to appear or explain her office's 2025 proposed budget. Some congressmen have even challenged the vice president to resign if she no longer wants to perform her duties. In fairness to her, consistent in the sense na hindi po siya dumalo ng Committee on Appropriations Budget Hearing, Pati po dito sa plenary, hindi rin po dumalo. So kung ganyan po, it shows that she's not interested with her duties and functions as the Vice President of the Philippines. So kung ganyan po yung lumalabas, probably we can ask her to step down as the Vice President. That's clearly the <laughs> clear sentiments being shared by a lot of members. Kasi alam mo... Ano yun eh, trabaho yun, responsibility. This is not even about her, this is about the office of the Vice President, the second highest position of the land. Vice President Sara Duterte had earlier asserted having submitted the necessary documents to the lower house and is leaving it to the congressman to decide on her office's proposed budget for next year. In a Facebook post, her office also called out attempts to allegedly besmirch yet again the reputation of BP Sara by publishing stories of her being on the beach while the house conducts its plenary deliberations. They insist the vice president was on the road busy communicating to our citizens about the current events in the country. Aside from the OVP, Agri Port List Representative Wilbert Lee is also closely monitoring the budget proposal of the Department of Health. He's pushing for the expansion of benefits for PhilHealth members, which is under the supervision of the DOH. Naka schedule sila bukas, no? Uh, last sila, no? Na isasalang uli. So, uh, actually, naghihintay ako dahil uh, meron daw pong uh, binubuong team na makikipag-usap sa atin. Melales Moras from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.